Continuum mechanics is one of the oldest branches of physics. It deals with the effect of forces on bodies at the supermolecular scale. It's key to the civil engineering profession. So there we extend or compress pieces of concrete, of wood, of brick, and the results of these tests we put into computer simulations to come up with reliable, safe design of infrastructure, of buildings, say tunnels or skyscrapers. This is what we teach here at the Institute of Mechanics of Materials and Structures of the Vienna University of Technology. This university is one of the first of its kind, established as early as 1815. But how can we make these materials better? The concrete stronger, more ecological, the wood more strong, more stiff. This is what our research here is about. Over the centuries, great experience has been gathered on how to build from timber beautiful structures such as this cupola hall of our university. However, it's very hard for wood to compete with other building materials like concrete or steel. Only very refined simulation technology allows us to decipher the complex internal mechanical functioning of this material, which comprises branches, then cells, built up by layers, and the layers contain cellulose fibers glued together with lignin, the dominating substance at the nanoscale. And understanding the mechanical processes at all these scales will subsequently allow us to predict the behavior of wood realistically. Concrete is a very fascinating nanocomposite made of cement, aggregate stones, sand and water. The latter induces a number of very challenging mechanical properties which we investigate at different length and time scales. Concrete under constant load shows a somehow flowing behavior. It's creeping at time scales between minutes and hundreds of years as we measure in our laboratory. When concrete is warmed up, the humidity within its porosity does not decrease. Instead, it increases paradoxically. And we develop multi-scale computational models in order to quantify the underlying water transport processes. This is our civil engineering core business. But that by no means confines our research and teaching activities. Naturally, we turn from man-made structures to biological structures, like the structures we are made of ourselves, our skeleton. Unlike traditional engineering materials, bone is a living tissue. Biological cells reside in the pore spaces of bone, which are surrounded by extracellular bone matrix. The activities of these cells are regulated by both mechanical and biochemical factors and any disturbance of the involved regulatory pathways may lead to triggering of diseases such as osteoporosis. Now what we do is that we combine the concepts of multi-scale mechanics, systems biology and transport theory in order to transform experimental results into new predictive computational tools which eventually aim for supporting decision making in dentistry and orthopedics. Needless to say, all these activities require a high level of enthusiasm and creativity. And we are privileged to be inspired by the atmosphere in the heart of a city with an unparalleled cultural background and with the highest life quality in the world. In order to maintain and to further enrich this spirit, we heartily welcome enthusiastic, creative and ambitious individuals from a variety of different backgrounds. Join us here in the city of music and arts for the art of multi-scale mechanics.